breaking welcome to today's headlines will tinubu be forced to release unamdekanu see what 50 as of reps members told the president will tinubu be forced to release unamdekanu see what 50 hours of reps members told the president to my dear listeners from wherever you're listening from please stay tuned as i read today's news and please do ensure you like subscribe and share now the details no less than 50 members of the house of representatives have urged President Bola Tinubu to order the release of Namdekanu, the leader of the proscribed indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB. In a letter addressed to Tinubu, the legislators under the ages of concerned federal lawmakers for peace and security in the southeast asked Tinobo to direct Latif Fabimi, Attorney General of the Federation, AGF to invoke Section 174 of the 1999 Constitution to release Kano. Section confers on the AGF the power to discontinue at any stage before judgment is delivered any such criminal proceedings instituted or undertaken by him or any other authority or person. In the letter dated June 19, 2024, the legislators said the release of Kanu is a political solution that will end the rising insecurity in the Southeast. Your Excellency, we are concerned members of the House of Reps representatives of the Federal Republic of Nigeria with a strong belief that trust that a renewed hope agenda of His Excellency and the various positive reforms would be seen and felt by all. It is at the backdrop of the foregoing that we, the undersigned, hereby beseech Your Excellency to direct the Attorney General of the Federation and the Minister of Justice, Peace, Prince Latif Misan, to invoke his powers of nolly prosecute under the provisions of Section 174, one of the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, 1999 as amended and section 1071 of the administration of criminal justice act 2015 and caused the release of mazi Unamdekanu from detention and discontinue his trial which we collectively believe is long overdue and would be instrumental in opening the door for much needed conversations surrounding peace reformation and inclusivity as well as addressing the issues that led to the agitations especially at the time Nigeria is going through several constitutional reforms your excellency we resolutely believe that this singular act can serve as a, as a pivotal gesture towards national unity 
as it would address some of the political, security and economic concerns in the region. It would encourage stakeholders from the southeast to engage more actively in the national discussions on the renewed hope agenda, thereby promoting inclusivity and addressing long-standing grievances. These, we believe, will also help in dismantling the apparatus of violence and restiveness that has plagued the region, allowing for a focus on economic growth and development. Also, it is coming at a time the nation-state is under enormous pressures, including but not limited to unemployment, insecurity, hunger and poverty. Thereby de-escalating tension from all sides, the letter read. The lawmakers said Omoye Lesho and Sunday who were accused of treason felony got their charges dropped by the federal government, adding that the same should be extended to Kanu. It is therefore our conviction of fixing the challenges in the southeast would go a long way in changing the narrative and showcase your commitment to upholding the principle of rule of law, justice and fairness, which are the bedrock 